Fancy subtitles. All right. So uh, this is my first official me video on my channel, and I wanted to start with a thrift haul because I've always wanted to film them, and I just love watching other people. So let's get started. Um, I went to Renaissance, which is a for free uh, secondhand thrift store, op shop, whatever, uh, wherever you might be. Um, and it was a 50% off day, and it was the newest and largest location, and it was nuts. Like, I'm used to 50% off day being crazy. This was insanity. Alright, so, let's jump right in. I got this cute, flowered, um, structured spring purse, because it's spring officially now, and who doesn't love, uh, that's what size it is, who doesn't love flowered purses? I got another little purse, which will be good for when I go to concerts occasionally, uh, or just whatever. It's a hands-free crossbody, black, a little tiny purple stitching here. Alright, I got this cute little pterodactyl thing for my friend's daughter, and it's just hilarious. I am so tempted to keep it for myself. It uh, has the sensor that goes off when it's officially on. This is in try mode and uh, it makes weird noises and um, that's creepy but she loves things like that so we'll see if she likes it. Alright so I've got it sort of sorted here. Um, I have a blonde ponytail attachment which as you can see was originally three dollars at the Dollarama and I paid $1.75 half price. Uh, it's for a potential costume that I'm doing next Saturday, and these fishnets stockings might be in the costume, since the costume is undetermined right now. Okay, I also found this belt, which is cute, it's just elastic waist. However, it's got a zip up in brown, uh, with some jewel details, and I thought, mm, I've never seen that before probably don't need another belt, but here I have another one. Uh, I also make little bags and purses and stuff, and I was thinking that this I could use to like attach a little hip bag or two on either side, like the festival pouches. Uh, I'm a Pinterest crazy person, and I love all the ideas. Uh, okay, so on to sunglasses, which fit over my glasses. They are pretty, actually, decent. I kind of like them. Boom! And I found this cute little glasses case for my actual glasses, which is nice and narrow. I don't usually, I usually just throw them on a night table, but whatever. I found a cute pair of sandals, tealish, turquoise bejeweled details. Love them. Um, these are fascinating, and I don't know if they'll work. I'll have to wait till next winter, but essentially they are earmuffs that just literally clip to your ears, which is honestly hilarious. And oops, they come in their own little bag. So, we'll see if I can remember to have these next uh, winter to try them out. I got some repair needles because- oh, there's two packs. Ooh, fancy. Uh, let's see, I didn't even notice. Um, because I sew and I might need larger needles. I have the sort of large needles, but I've never had these ones, so. And since I sew dolls, I found this nude shade. I'm not entirely sure it's going to be appropriate for the doll skin, but I'll try it out, or I can find another use for it. And for the doll hair, I found this four pack of dark brown yarn, which you might not be able to tell the color. Uh, more fabric, I found this pretty piece. It's just some random, like, maybe outdoor type. It's got a shiny waterproof look, but we'll see. Alright, and I found four books in a set. Whoops. 
This is the first book. Uh, it's like vampire teen type things. I don't know what year it is. I didn't check, but uh, you never know. It might be good, might not be. I got a spool of fishing wire, which could come in handy for some of my crafts. Um, I got some suction cup hooks, which, uh, you know, suction cup when you clamp it down. Um, beautiful ballet print because I just adore ballet. It's actually from the Metropolitan Museum of Art and as you can see I love ballet. Okay, so for my sewing, um, a group I'm in has recommended clear chopping boards to transfer your pattern onto and they'll last if you, you know, sew one particular thing quite a lot of. Now on to clothes. Um, see my You Rock My World shirt? <gasps> Found a pair of matching shorts. Come on. So cute. Okay. Uh, this I actually bought just for the pattern. I'm going to chop it up and see how it's made and make a pattern out of it because I don't have children. So I don't have anybody to wear it. Uh, I might use the uh, fabric after for something else. And this one oops, is a dress that's not my size, but I just thought the fabric with the crowns and stuff was so adorable. So I'm gonna cut it up and make something else out of it. It's from Le Garage, so it's not a fancy brand. Not that that matters. All right, this I'm still not sure about and uh, that's the back and that's the front. It's just a tealy turquoise dress with a bubble hem. It's not a very fancy fabric. And then I got this dress, which I might wear for my costume. I have no idea. Uh, it's a high-necked white dress, off-white. The sleeves are just awful but uh, I'll do something with them because I have some sewing skills. The back is a cowl neck, and I just love the cowl neck. And it's got ruching, so it makes your butt look fantastic. And uh, tucks in, you know, possible extra little bits. Okay. This is not my size, but it might work for sleeping. Floral high-low top and it's got a cute lace back detail. Then I found also a pair of floral leggings in an awesome pattern, which are very lightweight for the warmer weather coming up, which in Montreal borders on going from cold to summer, but might get use out of them. Uh, then I found a hilarious pair of nude leggings, which is just fun. I don't know where the hell I'm going to wear them because they're actually kind of flannel inside. So we'll see. Maybe for my costume. Although if I wear fishnets, I won't need the nude leggings. Uh, all right. I found this cute short sleeve uh, snap up with a little jacket because spring is here, and last but not least, I think that's it, I found this uh, fuzzy body pillow cover in just like an off-white. Oh, it's so soft. I love it. Alright, so let me know what you think for my first video. Um, keep trying to re-record it, but it still ends up like under 10 minutes and whatever. So, thanks for watching!